we are asked to name this um, compound, ZnOH2. To do that, we need to start by asking about the first element. Is it a metal? Yes, it's a metal. And so we know that we're not going to use any prefixes. There won't be any di or tri or tetra in the name. Anytime you have a metal, you do not have a prefix in the name. We need to ask another question about Zn. Is it one of the ones that everybody knows the charge? The ones that everyone knows the charge are the guys that in group 1a are plus 1, the guy, elements in group 2a are plus 2, we know that silver is always plus 1, zinc is always plus 2, aluminum is always plus 3. Because this particular metal is one of those, it's the Zn2+, we do not need to put the charge in parentheses in Roman numerals in the name. No prefixes, no charge in our name. We will want to therefore just name the metal, and it's just going to be its elemental name. And then for the anion, we're going to look. If the element, if it's just one element in the anion, we're going to put IDE. If it's more than one element, it'll have to have a special name, something that you've memorized. My students have a chart with Nick the Camel, Eight Supper, and Phoenix to help them. They will have all their polyatomic ions named and memorized from that page. So let's take another look at what we've got. We have Zn. What's the name of Zn, guys? Zinc. All right. So the first part of our name is zinc. OH. How many elements are in OH? Two. 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 Okay, so I know it has to have a special name. I see a hydrogen and I see an oxygen. That helps me remember the name is? Hydroxide. hydroxide. Zinc hydroxide. No Roman numeral two because zinc is always plus two. No dihydroxide because everybody knows it'll take two negative one charged hydroxide ions to match up with the plus two zinc. 